this overhang here, we trim off the overhang of the plane, point the plane upwards a bit and that cuts down the risk of ripping a hole in the bow chance of plywood. Keep working across, working from the ends. At the back of the boat you saw it off flush, there's no rounding at the back of the boat. We want an exact 90 degree corner. After that's done, we want to add a 45 degree corner. Hold the plane at 45 degrees. The width of this corner has to be about 4 millimeters. No more than 4 millimeters. Make it the 4 millimeter width first with a very clear 45 degree angle and then round it over. If you try rounding over first, you'll end up with a very lumpy appearance because a human eye can't tell how much curve is there but you can tell how wide the flat is. We trim the bus brushes down. This makes them stiff enough to move resin around. If they're left long, they slip. The squeegee is a piece of plywood and the edges are rounded with sandpaper, particularly the outside corners so they don't catch. Lay the fiberglass out, take some time to do this really nicely. You want 5 centimeters at the edge and you can use some pieces of masking tape to hold everything in the right position. Just a few, they'll come off after most of the glassing is done. Push all the wrinkles out, pull the wrinkles out from the middle making sure you don't lose the 5 centimeters at the edge. If you look closely at the edge of your cloth, there are three wiggly looking little threads. That's called the selvage edge. If that's left in, it makes the surface really hard to sand. So we have to pull out those three wiggly selvage threads from the edge like this. Every manufactured edge is like this. With the last piece, it butts up against the original piece of the fiberglass. Just set it up so there are no gaps. and remove the selvage edge again. Here you can see the five centimeter edge. Now we make resin and we pour it straight out into the middle of the boat like this. The reason we do the middle is so that it holds the fiberglass down and we work it out towards the edges. When you're moving towards the ends of the boat, you can use some pressure with a squeegee. But when going back towards the middle, like this, go very lightly, otherwise you'll move the cloth. If the cloth moves, you get air bubbles, so you can pull them out from the edge of the cloth. Sort of a zigzag motion. Oops, see I made an air bubble there, a wrinkle in the cloth, I pulled it out from the edge. You'll see an even better one in a moment. Okay, zigzag across to spread it out. When the resin is spread out like this, you've got quite a lot of work time. If you leave the epoxy in the container, it will get hot and you won't have time to do the work. Oh, another wrinkle, pull it out at the edge. You pull it out the edge there or on the outside edge of the boat. You can see the glass cloth goes clear when there's resin on it. We don't want it really glossy. The aim is to produce a nice textured surface that has the print of the cloth. That's for the first coat. There's an image a little bit later that gives a good example of the areas with too much resin and not enough. Keep pushing the resin out towards the ends of the boat. You see we're doing the main piece of fiberglass first. At the join edges like this you can dab this squeegee. Just keep pulling the resin out towards the edges. 
if there's too much resin, you can just pull it out over onto the bow transom. Where it's shiny, there's too much resin, and the fiberglass will float on top of the resin, making the bottom very bumpy. But we can use the squeegee to push all the excess resin out beyond the fiberglass onto the bow transom, stern transom, and sides of the boat. And that will give you a beautiful, smooth bottom for your boat. Now on to the smaller piece. Again, do it with pressure towards the ends and light pressure towards the middle so that the cloth doesn't move. This way the cloth is always tensioned out towards the ends of the boat. The whole bottom should look not shiny, maybe a few patches of shiny, but most of it will not be shiny at all. Remove the masking tape and dab with the squeegee or the brush to make that area clear as well. Remove the last of the masking tape. Pull the resin out over that edge. Oh, bunched it up. So smooth it out so there's no bubbles. When using the brush, you don't need much resin, but you do need to use pressure. A little bit of resin goes a long way because there's already so much resin there. This is the right technique. If you try fancy brush strokes, it doesn't work. You need to use pressure and a gentle approach. That's just a small amount of resin along the edge. Not too much. So you see how her pulls the tape off slightly sideways? That stops it from pulling the edge of the cloth apart. Okay, now we use the brush to coat any uncoated areas. You brush across ways first, and then you finish off with vertical strokes. Don't finish with horizontal strokes. If you finish with horizontal strokes, the paint will roll down and form big curtains as it runs. But if you do it vertically, you get much fewer curtains. Here again we see Arab going sideways and then he should finish off vertically. After 40 minutes or a bit over an hour, the epoxy will get tacky. The glove will stick to it. Here it's not sticky at all yet. When it's sticky, it's ready for the second coat. The second coat, we do want that to be glossy. So use the measured amount and use the squeegee to spread initially and then finish off with the brush over the bottom of the boat and down the sides. 